after I made my duck purse last year, people bombarded me with this pigeon clutch that Sarah Jessica Parker wore somewhere and it cost 890 bucks. I, of course I want it. I love the chickens, but 890 bucks? No. I got a crow for 10 bucks on Amazon. Now let's make this beautiful thing look like a pigeon. Shall we? It looks very angry. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the very angry look, the legs are kind of wobbly. This is a crow that people use to scare pigeons on balconies and such. It has a hole over here and a hole over here. Something inside. The plan to transform this beautiful thing into a very nice and approachable pigeon. Need to change the beak, make the wings a little fluffier, the legs chunkier, and cut the wing here so it opens and closes so I can use it as a clutch. But seriously though, how? Oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Ho, ho, ho! Epoxy sculpt! It's a two thing modeling compound. I made the duck using resin and I built it from scratch from a rubber ducky. It, it just took a lot of time. I think this one will be easier. I hope this one will be easier. I think I'm gonna <laughs> cut it up first. Whilst I am cutting pieces of this beautiful animal off, let's hear some very nice facts about pigeons. Some of them are true, some of them are very, very wrong, and you have to decide. Pigeons are social birds and prefer to live in flocks or groups. Pigeons are actually robots created by the government to spy on citizens. Haha, <laughs> this is a true movement that believes that. Pigeons have been known to recognize themselves in mirrors. Pigeons are capable of telepathic communication and can read humans' minds. Pigeons have developed a taste for human food and will only eat fast food and junk food. Pigeons can fly at a speed of up to 77 miles per hour or 125 kilometers per hour. Pigeons are descendants of ancient wings dinosaurs and still carry the genetic traits of their prehistoric ancestors. Pigeons have a unique ability to find their way back home from faraway places even if they have never been there before. Pigeons have been known to form close relationships with humans and can even recognize individual peoples by their faces. Pigeons have their own language and can communicate with other animals, including cats and dogs. Pigeons have been used as therapy animals, visiting hospitals, nursing homes to provide comfort and companionship to patients. Pigeons have the ability to read human emotions and are trained to provide emotional support to people in need. Pigeons have a sophisticated justice system and can serve as judges in disputes between other animals. Pigeons have been known to enjoy playing games such as hide and seek with their human caretakers. Pigeons are able to camouflage themselves to blend in with their surroundings, make them invisible to predators. Pigeons have been honored with their own racing event, the Pigeon Grand Prix held annually in South Africa. Pigeons have the ability to levitate and can fly without flapping their wings, using only their minds to propel themselves through the air, or the passenger pigeon, once one of the most abundant birds in North America became extinct in the early 20th century due to overhunting and habitat loss. Pigeons have been observed taking the train in cities like London and Paris commuting to and from their favorite food sources. Pigeons have a strong affinity for music and can often be seen dancing to their favorite tunes. All the answers at the end of the video. How many did you get right? <laughs> I'm so terrified of the Dremel, but I sanded down the feetsies as much as I can. We'll make them chunkier so it's not bad that they are very crooked. I don't know what this plastic is, but it's very gooey. It sticks to everything. Should I cut the wing open now or later? I think I'll do it later. Still ends up, so that's a win. I'm so sorry. I had to cut the beak off. It had a seam right in the middle where pieces meet. So I, I sanded it down as well. Poor baby. to be downstairs today and Steve and I are now sharing the dining table for our crafts because he's gotten into miniature painting and I have to say it's very cool I tried to but it's not for me what is happening with this camera this is a two part compound modeling requires one to one ratio it stinks and gloves are also required so ah can you zero please doesn't want to zero oh my god I can't even breathe on top of the scale <sighs> 34 grams of A, and now 34 grams of B. Ugh. Always retrieve part A and B with different tools. I use the same glove. Oops. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm docking this from my weekly workout. All the same color. Ouch. 
Ouch, it hurts. Our beautiful beast. Gonna start with the feetsies, make them chunkier and they will... Don't know if this will attach itself to the plastic. I really hope so. Otherwise, I will just glue it later on with um, epoxy glue or something like this. I don't mind. I just want it to be pretty. Oh, I should have waited five minutes for it to completely set before I start working with it. Oh, it's too late now. I don't have time for that. I love people who sculpt on YouTube and how well they manage to like set their equipment in a way that you can see everything they're doing. As much as I try to do that myself, it never works. It never works. Goodbye to this hole. <laughs> I think I will need to work on that one later because the belly button is... I want chunkier legs. The original has chunky legs and I find that more pleasing. Let's just bulk the chicken thighs here a little more. Way better, isn't it? Look at this compared to the other side. Very set chicken legs. <laughs> Why do I need to work with gloves? But hey, look at this. New legs, rocking it. Now I have to try to cover the feetsies and make them look better. The cutting job was horrendous. Oh no, I destroyed the back foot. Question for you guys now. Do you think this clay will stick to the plastic or do you think everything will fall apart and I will have to redo it? Pause the video now. Go to the comment section and let me know. Chunky feetsies, they look so much better. I'm just gonna stuff this here. And I know it's not gonna stay. At least we have kind of the shape for the beak already in place. Kinda. This will not stay though. No, this is not gonna work. Oh God. Oh no. Why do I always have to touch something that's already working? I broke the belly button. <sighs> I broke the foot. Okay, I'm not touching this until tomorrow because it needs 24 hours to cure. And I still haven't found my wedding rings. These are still the decoys. And I got this one from my grandma when I was 15 years old. It has a lot of these nice stones, but they keep falling apart. They're missing everywhere. <coughs> so I bought new ones. <sighs> Very shaky day, very shaky. I don't know why. To be honest, I'm not doing so great lately. Are these too small? In terms of anxiety and I, I have no idea why. Can't seem to calm myself down. At least no apparent reason why I'm so anxious. Will you glue to this part, please? Mostly. Don't be so evil. My hands shouldn't be evil either. I'm so shaky. I think only one or two of these stones are the original ones. The rest have been replaced already. And the ruby in the middle is also broken. I don't know if it's a ruby at all. Stone in the middle is broken. It's very hard and it seems to have stuck there. I'm kind of excited. I didn't really want to talk here, but I'm just making the wings chunkier and more chunkier, more bacon for the bird. If I should do the details now or just make it with the Dremel and sending it later. <laughs> started carving, now let's do it. Marking all the feathers, but I have no clue what I'm doing, so I will just let it dry and um, carve a design out with a Dremel. I think this is the best idea, but it's looking better now. Very chunky wings. Look at that. Beautiful. He needs to fix his face. <laughs> <laughs> sushi and the nasty. Sushi are you nasty? And we have our fake pigeon. The beak is constructed, the feet are thick and beautiful. And the wings are chunk here. I have the oldest clothes that I own because it's time to dry. I need a pencil. 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 Plus I need to just make some drawing so I have everything in the right place. Beak is not that curved, as curved as I thought it would be, but it is smaller than what I have. Just hope this will stay in place. I just want to have an idea where I should go. <laughs> dramatic it's not delicate at all but it worked and it took me one hour to make one wing now i have to go with the cachorro to the vet because she has ear problems again this lady and her ears oh my god how much trouble we have poor baby she's in pain very pain much pain <laughs> 
Yeah, so all the angles of me carving this thing are terrible. So let's just, just cut to a montage of me carving and dancing to keep you occupied until I'm done with this. Yes. <laughs> My beauty, safety hurts the beauty. Oh, it hurts a lot. <laughs> All etched and sketched and carved. And we have the feathers again. I try to go with the same chunkiness of the original one just to have a better blend. The feetsies are horrible, but from afar they look like real feetsies. I'm not that concerned. This is the new beak. He looks a little bit happier, doesn't he? Look crooked, but so am I. So it fits. Well, to find a way to cut the wing open without losing a lot of material because I don't want a huge gap. This would be complicated. Could have a saw go straight here. Cha, chop this off. Would that go? Would that help? Would that be a possibility? No. My saw is not big enough. Mm. Could try with the Dremel. Yes, I'll do it with the Dremel. <laughs> I think I'd rather protect my jugular from possible flying cutting thingies than my breathing abilities. You can still have skull cancer, right? But you can still have a sleep now. This turned dark very quickly. No big incident. I cut. There was a bit of material, material, especially here in this curve. But I think I can fix that in a way it will not look so obvious. Hopefully. Just <gasps> wanna remove the fuzzy bits. Trying to install the hinges using epoxy glue. These are the hinges I bought for the ducky purse. I have such a bad time. My brain is fuzzy. Eat a little bit. Don't explode. <sighs> um, no, something. I had something and I lost it. The chopstick. Of course, you can see everything I'm doing right now because again I'm very good at angles. I just want them now to be glued forever and not move. I'm adding heavy duty. Oh come on. This needs to cure. Goodbye. <laughs> Glue works very well. However, everything smells like farts now. <laughs> Snoot. Tiny boobs do not solve the problem of the sand snoot. Why are you not working now? Everything was fine. <sighs> I always make a lot of glue that I end up throwing out. But of course, now that I try to make enough, I don't make enough. Uh, open! Come on. <laughs> It didn't work. It fell down already when I was trying to open it. The hinge just detached from the body. So yay for an amazing glue. Plan B it is. Tiny screws. But I kind of knew this would happen, so. <laughs> yay for hindsight. Oh, and what is this that I'm working here? This is the pom-pom skirt. We started it yesterday on stream and look. We're trying to decide if I'm going to go for the really green ones or if I should buy other greens. So check the poll in the community tab and give me your opinion. If you prefer this to be more close to the original. Okay. Uh, Send in your pom-poms ah. to the PO box in the description. They have to be one inch in diameter or two and a half centimeters. Any color, any yarn. I don't mind. Just want a piece of you on this project. And also check the instruction for sending from abroad that I will also post in the description because I had some problems with customs and I don't want your packages to be sent back Yay. for German or organization. 100,000 pom-poms, here we come. <laughs> I'm doing this with the bacon mostly on stream. And I'm very happy to inform we have already 14,000 pom-poms. <laughs> Update. I need to finish these two parts with facing. Oh, ow. Yeah, facing, no lining. It's working pretty well, but it's very, very hard. <laughs> it's good, however, because then this will help me give the skirt structure. And I still haven't found the solution for the hoop skirt problem. I think I'm gonna have to make one my own with PV PVC, with PVC, PVC, those things you use for plumbing. <laughs> What's the name? Oh God, it came for me. Yeah, PVC, long snakes with a hole in the middle that can form into the shape I need. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's going to the other side. It's not that bad. I can file it down. I just want it to stay in place. I'm gonna put the hinges on the inside still. This will be very hard to make work. Make it work. Make it work. You know what I wish I had? Magnetic things. Bits. For this stupid thing here. Why? Why are you like this? What if I put a magnet here? It will yeah. magnetize it. Ha ha ha. Gonna be all for the win. I'm going to put the hinges on the outside. I'm going to cover it with something. Why is the light so terrible? There. Now it's done. I think I need to make space for the hinges so the thing will be flush. And that's what I will do now. Uh, I'll be right back. Ta-da! With a little slippage here. <laughs> Ooh, now it will stay there where it's supposed to be. La, 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 la. Ooh, look at that! So much work for just a thing that I will not even be able to really use as a clutch. Because nothing of mine will fit in here. Maybe Steve's wallet? Because he has one of the small ones. Ah, no! No, 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 no! Oh! Ah. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think the original doesn't have a closure, but I think I will add one. <laughs> Going inside of the bird <laughs> is a bird with a closure. Ta da! <laughs> I still have a little bit of a gap that I don't really enjoy, but it's not that bad. Like, you kind of can see it from afar. But I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I will just tie these somehow. And yeah, it's coming together. I like it. I'm using some UV resin to hide the bits. I'm just gonna build a layer that will make it look flush. Not so obvious to the eye when the thing's painted. Oh, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> I'll prime this and see what will happen. Yes. Sushi. Me. Don't play like this. You know that. Can throw it if you don't give it to the house. Yeah. I carved a little bit just to make the same. And it's looking cool. Time finally for the painting part, and I'm going to use my airbrush. Yes. It is so dirty. So long since I've used this. <sighs> Being left-handed is sometimes very annoying. Very annoying. I'm gonna start first with the gray. I can find my phone because I need the picture. I lost my phone again. Seriously? Mm -hmm. I need a reference picture. Illegal. Here it is. Safety first. Sometimes. Uh, oh my god. I need <laughs> How do I leave this standing? I have no... Oh no! What is happening? Way too quick here. Uh, I need to wait for this to dry so I can apply the other layer. I thought it would blend better, but it's just I don't know. Very weird. Very very weird. I'll wait for this to dry and I will I will pink him again. <laughs> I thought I would come downstairs to finish it, but I didn't. I was making pom-poms and I fell asleep. I'm not showing my face today because I have a huge pimple on my chin and my beard is very, very luscious and I don't want to show it because I'm that shallow. Yes. So Mr. Crow Pigeon will be my talking head today. Hello, I'm Mr. Crow Pigeon and this is ridiculous. Anyways, you can barely see the pink. You can kind of see the first gray nuances on the, the wings. The hinges are kind of hidden. But it's fine. It's totally fine. Let's continue with pink and the blue. And I forgot the... Oh, no. I forgot my cell phone upstairs. And my cell phone has the thing. Okay. So first, I need the pink again. And I think I'm going to use only pink this time. To have it head more. To have it a tad more. I forgot the word for it. Just more pink. 
Yeah, look at that now. The blue. Uh, One day I'll learn how to airbrush things properly. Blue and pink. Yay! Now black details on the things and the end of the things and the things. And then I can paint the feetsies, the face, and install the lining. That makes sense, right? The airbrush people will come to hunt me down after they see this video because I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I have to shake the airbrush so much. We don't want gray. We want black. Now it's time for me to destroy everything I have done so far because again I don't know how to deal with the airbrush. Ugh. Why do I have to shake the thing so much? Airbrush to Steve because I am so incompetent to use it and he is into minis anyway so maybe maybe he has a better experience than I do and I will never use it again because I'm annoyed and I'm just here wasting paint and not doing anything right. Yeah that's it I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Let's wait for this to dry so I can paint the... No my paint! Damn it. I destroyed my pants. Destroyed the pants that are not supposed to be destroyed. These are my I use it to go out pants. Shit. <sighs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> I know I will never get a beautiful blend using brushes, but seriously, <sighs> this stupid, stupid airbrush is not for me. No. <laughs> Going upstairs and I'll finish this so I can finally install the insides. This video is gonna be just 20 minutes of me complaining about the airbrush and my lack of coordination to make it work. Yes, but I'm happy with my pigeon. our beautiful pigeon. I put my logo inside for the first time. And this is a fabric I designed myself with crows. I just found them very fitting for the occasion. <sighs> How much I can fit in this? I don't know. I don't think much at all. At least it doesn't stink like the duck does. The duck smells awful like resin. My cell phone will not fit in here. My wallet, no chance. But Steve's Ridge wallet will fit in here. My keys and maybe a lipstick too. So. Yay! This is more useful than the duck purse, for sure. And it looks more ridiculous. But I love it. <laughs> I, I want to go to fancy places with my pigeon clutch now. I'm so in love with this. What do you think? Does it look like a pigeon or is, does it still look like a crow? I don't know. The original one has more of a like a happy face. It looks more approachable. Mine is still very angry, but I'm a small ball of rage. So yeah, it fits. It fits my mood. You are derpy. Super derpy. Mr. Crow Pigeon is super fancy. Steve needs to take me out somewhere with my pigeon clutch. I should have kept the crow, but that would be just too easy. Or I should have even made a chicken instead. I think the chicken would fit more to me. I'm not a pigeon person, but I love pigeon clutch very, very much. I would carry this around like this forever. It's very soothing to have your own chicken under your arms all the time. And the chicken being responsible for all of your important things. Documents, keys, makeup, medicine, money. Super fancy with my sweatpants. It's just the perfect look. The perfect spring look. Sweatpants, a cropped hoodie, and a pigeon clutch, right? Right? Agree with me. Yes. I mean, there is no comparison between the, the fanciness of the duck and the pigeon. This can carry less than the pigeon for sure. I don't know. I love them so much. Both of my chickens. Which one do you prefer? I'm I, I'm Tor. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, then please check the other video here on the screen somewhere. And I will see you next time. Ta-ta!